Thank you, uh, Councillor Flanagan. Um, Councillor McAuliffe. Thanks, Lord Mayor. And I, I appreciate a lot of councillors have spoken on this tonight, and I suppose it, it reflects the strength of feeling among councillors. I was one of the strongest people who criticised the council in January uh, based on the communications, and I'd like to put on the record the significant improvement in terms of communications, particularly to councillors, um, like daily texts and emails all over Christmas. There's absolutely no way that councillors can question the amount of information which came to us. And as well, the council staff, particularly in the water division, people like Paul Flynn and Laura Walsh and the two Brian Smith and Brian McKeown and Michael, people who are really working hard every single day. Uh, I think in general terms we do have to bite the bullet in infrastructure and perhaps the effort which we put into the development plan over the last 18 months, that now that that's completed, and as a council we can put the same effort in, uh, into the, the, what we need on water and, and what we need to do to improve it. And that does involve national and, and local governments. However, Lord Mayor, what I wanted to, 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 to raise was the specific instance in my constituency of a thousand times homes um, who, well, people here might criticise the council, who are not in city council controlled area in Hampton Wood, where there's a private management company with a private reservoir and a private pump house, who not only were dependent on the pressure coming back at certain times, but who were also dependent then on ha a managing agent having somebody there to turn that water on and off over the entire Christmas period. And it was really, it, it was, it, there was people there without water for six or seven days, and despite the best efforts of officials in the water department, there really wasn't the competency of the management company to control a water tower and a water pump. And what the question that they've given me here tonight is, will Dublin City Council consider removing that water tower from the system, which was a temporary water tower and which should be removed um, and which does need to be taken under the control of, of the City Council? It's not good enough that uh, a private company will be given control of a thousand homes in the area. They're, a management company which has huge other issues uh, on bins and so on uh, and their finances. But on the basic issue of water, we need to make sure that that housing estate is not affected in the same way. And that's what the residents here tonight want to know, will, will the council consider removing that, terror, that temporary water terror? Thank